of the YouTube. So if you're watching this, it should be about uh, learning how to do a binding or lashing on a on a uh, Māori Heitoki pendant, like this one with a hole in the middle. Um, the way I carve mine, I've got uh, two grooves on the top here for the um, part that goes around the necklace to sit in. And um, these two ledges under here, these are the only bits that they actually need. You can carve bits in the top here and, and indent it in the side as well, but, but I don't do that. So anyway, let's get down to it. So, basically the necklace cord that goes around here, around your neck, and the part that actually does the binding and lashing are two separate pieces on this. So this here is uh, my, what's going to be my necklace cord. I haven't um, braided it yet. I'm going to do a three plait on this. Um, morning. Do a three plait on this once I'm finished. So the first job you want to do is stick your cord through. Now if your hole's tiny, I'll show you a little trick. Like this one is a little bit tiny. If you can get two pieces through, to get a third one through, what you can do is try and feed it into the middle of the other two. And if you pull through at the right time, come on, it will pull it through. Voila. Okay, so pull that through to the middle. Okay, we've got our cord in there. So that, that will sit into those grooves. Okay. So next step is with our main bit of cord. Now you can um, work out how much you want and chop it off, if, but you don't need to for this. So I'm just going to pop that over to the side so I can draw on it. And we're going to do a whipping. So the first thing to do is do a whipping around the top here um, to hold these two bits together and that gives us a place to start doing the lashing from as well. Okay, so to do a whipping, I've got a better video on this because um, this is a bit of a, well, it's a hard knot to explain um, with the tiny little black thread. So I'm just going to do it and um, if you can follow that's great but if not check out my um, purpose built video for how to do the whipping that I use. It's not just a standard whipping. Um, it does make it super tight, and I'll put the link in the description below. But, um, bit of untangling here. So one part of the whipping that is always super important. Try and keep your uh, probably any knot tying really rope work. Keeping it all tidy. Okay. Cool, so that's enough uh can you see that? Probably enough rounds, I think, for this one. Enough things around, so let's try and uh, pull it through. Come on, focus. Alright, there we go. Now we'll slide that. Slide that up against the talkie. 
before we tighten it. Primo. Right, let's make this guy tight. So the real cool thing with having a is my nail clip is gone. Yeah. Chop the ends off. No, we don't chop the other end off though. That's going to be our what we do our lashing with. Now this is still attached to the main cord. This our long piece coming off the bottom of the whipping. Still attached to the main cord. That's okay for now. But the cool, like I was saying before, the cool thing with doing a uh, hole in here is that it makes it makes uh, it all flush and will make the um, binding or lashing look really um, flat and, and even and smooth. Um, and that's really, really good and really important, I think, for smaller talkies um, because doing the no-hole binding technique um, is more obvious on the smaller ones. On the bigger ones, I think it's it's okay. Um, it just depends on what you, you prefer having, a, or if you're carving, if you have a hole or not. If you've already got a piece, you haven't got a choice, but um, yeah, there you go. Now, to do the binding, the lashing, this is the secret tricky part. So I'm going to use this extra piece of cord here um, as a pull-through cord. Okay, now this I'm going to put against the back, so that's the front of the toki. This is going to be the back, and slide this, lay this across the back like so. And I'm going to do the lash, whole lashing over the top of this, and I'll use it to pull through the last little bit of cord at the end to tuck it up underneath everything. So, the lashing follows down the down around around the front keep it nice and tight these first ones are super important and then we go up over and around back down this side underneath you want to make sure that cross is going in a good place if you cross too far to that side or that side it will start um, drawing the crosses in that direction Flat on the back. Again, make sure the cross is good. These first ones are really important. They set the tone for the rest of them. Keep everything tidy. Across the top. And then we start. So that's the that's the uh, one round, I guess, one full round. Now we just keep lashing it on. Um, underneath each one after that. Keep trying to get those uh, these crosses in the right place for you. I'll try and keep this in focus for you as we as you carry on. So you can see the um, the pull through cord as I'm starting to get all covered up. There's the pull throughs here. Can okay, I show you the whole thing? So here's our pull through cord. Okay, we'll see an action at the end. So I'm using a 1mm black waxed braid for this, polyester waxed braid. Where did I come from? Flat, so we go up. Okay. So the hole is starting to be covered up now. Okay, you can see, see the crosses coming here, they're coming down pretty much straight up and down, which is what I was aiming for. These ones here, yep, they're looking pretty good too.
just go around and around and around until it covers up what needs covering. Now the cool thing with the binding, and one of the main principles with these binding and lashings, is that each each time you go around, it um, tightens up on the um, the previous cord that you've already laid down. It is it's these techniques. I mean, originally these were very practical um, lashings and bindings for attaching stone to uh, stone um, tools and, and weapons to to shafts. So they're very strong. So these every layer I'm putting on now through here, it pushes up against these ones each time a little bit more, a little bit more, so these become rock hard, rock hard and rock solid in here, that's why it's one of the, one of the, the key features of, a, of these bindings and lashings. Um, and as I, um, and this one with uh, no hole, no, with a hole, talkie, the, you could say the lashing is, is functional and practical in that it holds it, holds the necklace and cord in place, but it doesn't actually um, you know, if the lashing comes apart, it won't fall off. Whereas with uh, my no-hole lashing technique, um, which you can see my other video for, the um, whole lashing is 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 it. It's um, just tied straight to the stone without any holes in it. So it is a lot more. It is entirely practical and functional, as well as um, looking good. Okay, so get in there. So keep going until uh, well, keep going as far as you want. But I usually go until I've covered up that middle spot. So there's no stone showing um, in the middle here, and you can't see the um, can't see the hole anymore. And then okay, it's looking pretty good. Then you can do a couple more rounds straight around the bottom if you want. If you need that for the for the balance of the piece. How's this one look? Okay, what's our thinking? I'll take one off. Okay, I think that's good there. Now, that's where our secret little tricky pull-through piece comes in. So, take your cord around the back. All right, so here it is. Here's our pull-through piece. And there's it sticking out the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this cord up through here. Um, I do need to cut it at this point. So I'll cut it longer than what I need. So I need it to end there, so I'll cut it up about here. Yes. My bits. Okay, so make sure we've got heaps of cord there. All right, now we stick the end through the pull through, and then we'll see how tight this is. Let's see how I can pull it through. Okay, pull it up to the top. All right, now it's ready to go. Now, this is tight, like I was saying before. This is all pulled in on itself. And that's just coming through a little tiny hole in the top. So, this is tricky. <clears throat> you do need a bit of force to do this part. So, I'm going to use my pliers. And you pull. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. I'll see if I can keep this in focus for you. Okay, so now you can see it's tucked up at the corner there, so it comes around at the bottom and tucks up underneath and then comes out the top. And there ain't no way that part is coming out again unless you try really hard. So, snip the end off. Singe the ends, make sure there's no extra little bits sticking out there. And 
And we're done. With the lashing part. From here, I'll take these uh, six strands and uh, do two, three plaits. Do a three plait out each side. And um, do an adjustable knot at the end. You can see it in one of my other videos. If you want to see how I do those as well, it makes them look real nice and tight. Use, use this whipping again for that knot. Um, you can do this with a pre-plaited cord already, that's, that's totally fine, as long as it can fit through the hole and then use exactly the same um, process which I went through and, and you end up with a, a similar result. I prefer doing it this way um, only because um, it will sit flatter um, underneath here and in the groove and yeah. So it's pretty much six to one, half a dozen to the other, no, no big deal whether you start with a plaited cord or with just the, the single strands. All right, oh, hope that helped, hope that was informative. Um, yeah, always keen to help out, so if you have any questions or thoughts or feedback, please uh, um, go visit my website or leave me a comment below. Thanks guys.